Building of unit rates are very essential element when we want to estimate the cost of items or the cost of works in building construction. So on today's tutorial, we want to look at the cost of the cost of doing plastic emulsion paint. We want to build up the unit rate for three coats of plastic emulsion on a plastered surface and we've been given the data. So we want to see how we are going to approximate the cost of doing so we are going to consider an area of one meter by one meter and using the data that we've been given, we are going to, to see how we can come up with the rate or the cost, an approximate cost of doing that painting. Now we have the primer, which is Kenyan shillings 1200 per four liter tin. We have an undercoat, which is 1300 per four liter tin. We have finishing coat, which is 1400 per four liter tin. Skid labor is 126 per hour and skid labor is 60 per hour. So we want to see, want to see the cost of painting this surface, which is one meter by by one meter. And then coverage areas are primer, it's covering 10 meters square, undercoat is 12 meters square, finishing coat is 14 meters square for a four liter tin. Now we need to proceed and see what we are going to get. Now we are going to start with the cost of the primer. So we've been told the primer is at a cost of 1200 per 4 liter tin. Now, for a 4 liter tin is costing 1200. How much will 1 liter cost? 1 liter is going to cost 1200 divided by 4. That gives us 3. 300. Now remember, for the primer, we've been told it covers 10 meters square. For four, the 4 liter tins covers 10 meters square. And remember, we, have, we want to cost an, er an area of one meter square. So if 10 meters square is used as four liters, what is the liters that are going to be used in one meter square? So it will be four over 10, that gives us 0 0.4 liters. So the cost of the primer will be the number of liters that we require, that is 0 0.4 liters, and then times the cost of one liter, which is 300, that gives us 120 shillings. Now we proceed to the undercoat. The undercoat is 1300 per 4 liter. Let's find the cost of 1 liter. We tabulate that one we are going to get is 325. Area coverage is 12, 12 meters square for 4 liter tin. So let's find the amount of liters that are going to cover 1 meter square area. That will be 4 over 12 giving us 0 0.33 liters. So the cost will be 0 0.33 multiplied by the cost of one liter. This is the what we need and this is the cost of one liter. That one gives us 108.33. Now we go to the finishing coat. The finishing coat is 1400 per four liter and the coverage is 14 meter square per four liter tin. So 14 100 shillings per 4 liter. What is the cost of 1 liter? That will be 1400 divided by 4. It, it's going to give us 350. Area coverage is 14 meters square for 4 liter tin. So liters per 1 meter square will be 4 divided by 14 giving us 0 0.29. So the cost of the finishing paint cord will be the number of liters we require which is 0 0.29 times the cost of 1 liter which is 325 giving us 101.5. Now since we have the cost of the three cords, now let's find the total, the total cost of material it will be first coat plus the cost of the second coat plus the cost of the third coat giving us the total cost of material to be 329.98 now let's add labor we have skilled labor is 126 per hour and skilled is 60 let's assume they are going to work for one hour so skilled labor will be one times one hour one skilled labor working for one hour times the cost of one hour is 126 giving us 126 and skilled will be one working for one hour at a cost of 60 giving us 60 shillings so the total will be 186 now we add the cost of the materials plus the cost of labor to find the total cost so the cost of material was 329.89 plus the cost of labor which is 186 giving us a total of five 
115.83. Now we must add a profit and hovides. Remember we said when we are building up unit rates, we must cater for the profits that we are going to that we are going to get. So we are going to add 25% profits and hoverhead so that we tabulate that one. We are going to get that is 125 over 100 times 5 15.83 is going to give us 644.79. So guys, that is what you need to paint a plastered wall for three coats of plastic emulsion paint. Thank you guys for your time. Kindly remember to subscribe, share, like, comment, and thank you because you have been so helpful and you have really helped us grow this channel. Until next time, bye-bye.